Do you want to speed up your Luminar Neo photo editing workflow? Have trouble remembering the Luminar Neo keyboard shortcuts? Well, in this quick video, I'll show you my 12 favorite keyboard shortcuts and how you can download my free Luminar Neo keyboard shortcuts cheat sheet. Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and I help beginning and intermediate photographers like you to improve your photography, right from capture in camera all the way through to the editing process. So if you're ready to learn some keyboard shortcuts, let's dig in. I'm here inside Luminar Neo in the library or catalog module. The first couple of keyboard shortcuts that I use a lot are switching back and forth from the edit module back to the library. When you have a single image selected in the library module, you can see the little outline around it. Just press E on your keyboard to go to the edit module. This one's easy to remember, E for edit. Then you're ready to go. If you wanna go back to the library module, this one's easy too, L. I know it's called catalog, but if you remember it or think of it as library, then the shortcut will be easier to remember as well. When I'm in the library module, two more that I use a lot are P for flagging an image as a pick. You can see that when I did that, it added the little heart here and it's now picked or added to favorites. Likewise, if you click X on your keyboard, it will set that image as a reject. So P for pick, X for reject. As a side note, to remove a flag, just click U for unflag. Also, while you're still in the catalog or library view, pressing the space bar will zoom in or show one image. Pressing it again goes back to grid view or thumbnail view. If you want to apply a preset to your image, click T. It doesn't make any sense, but if you think of them as templates, which is what they used to be called in older versions of Luminar, think of presets as templates, then T is the keyboard shortcut that will stick in your mind. So I'm going to click E again to go back to the edit module. When you are in this module and you press the space bar, it will zoom in to 100% and then back again. If you want to zoom in in increments, then you want to use Command Plus, Command or Control if you're on Windows, Command or Control Plus to zoom in, and command or control minus or dash to zoom out. Also, while you're in the edit mode, if you press and hold the backslash key, you will see the before or unedited original image. Likewise, if we go back to the library module, L, press the space bar to view that image larger, you can do the backslash trick here as well to see the before and after. Now let's say you're in the edit module and you want to apply an effect to just part of the image, you're going to use a mask. Once you open the mask and are using the brush tool, you have a choice between painting and erasing. Previously, the only way to toggle them was to click these two buttons here. Now you can just toggle back and forth with the X key. Watch my cursor change from a plus sign to a minus sign. So it's also much easier to tell if you're painting or erasing. Paint is plus, erase is minus. Also, while you have a brush active, if you want to make the brush smaller or larger, use the square bracket keys. So left square bracket key to make it smaller and right square bracket key to make it larger. As well, there's another little bonus keyboard shortcut that goes along with this one. If you hold your shift key and click the opposite square bracket key, you'll see that the circles actually move in and out and the softness slider is moving. So you're actually adjusting the softness level. So just square bracket keys, they move together and with the shift, you change the fade or the softness. So I'm just going to paint over him real quick. And then let's say I do a boo-boo and I do it down here, but I don't want it down here. Now I could quickly change to the erase tool with the X keyboard shortcut and solve my overpainting problem, just like that. Another one that I use a lot as a keyboard shortcut is C for crop. So that will open the crop tool. 
There used to be a keyboard shortcut to rotate from horizontal to vertical. Now you have to use this key. So I'm hoping they bring that one back again. But as of now, you have to do that one yourself. When you're done cropping, let's try the composition AI. When you're done cropping and you're happy with your crop, just press return or enter to accept it. So those are my favorite 12 Luminar Neo keyboard shortcuts and the ones that I use all the time. There's a couple of other really handy ones that I wanna tell you about as well as a little bonus. But before I do that, I want to tell you how you can get my free PDF Luminar Neo keyboard shortcuts cheat sheet. You'll find a link in the description area below where you can sign up and download it for free. Okay, so the bonus shortcuts. Command or control O will allow you to open an individual new file, for example, and just add one image. And if you select multiple images in the library module and click Command or Control N, it will add them to a new album. Then all you have to do is rename it. In this case, Cuba Images. This last one is for you Mac users only. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on Windows currently, and that's simply F for full screen. So if you want to see your image without all the distractions, just press F. Note that the backslash key still works while you're in full screen mode. So let me ask you, what Luminar Neo keyboard shortcuts do you use most often? Did I miss any of your favorites? Let me know in the comment area below. If you want more Luminar Neo tips and tricks, watch this video now. You can also watch the first two lessons in my Luminar Neo complete course as samples, so you can check it out. There's a link to that on the page below and on the screen. Until next time, take care.